Okay, there are a lot of different aspects of seed testing and um, that was one thing that I learned as, as I was becoming an analyst. Um, and you're looking at seed quality and that can include a lot of different aspects. So germination, of course, you know, if someone is buying seed, they want to know that it's going to grow and how well it's going to grow. Uh, welcome to the OSU Seed Lab, Oregon State University Seed Lab. Um, we've been, we have actually been um, doing this work for 110 years since 1909. Um, we're a pretty big lab, we're busy, we do between 12 and 13,000 samples a year and and actually right now is is our very busy time. Um, we're in the middle of grass seed harvest in Oregon right now. Um, it's Harvest starts here between at, at the end of June and goes probably through uh, looks like it's going to go through the end of August at least. Um, all that, all that seed that's harvested has to be available for shipment probably by by September uh, because plantings start anywhere from September until uh, November in this area. Um, of course, if it's going to be planted in other areas, then then those timelines may differ, but. But there's a huge pressure to have a high turnaround here because of the short time between harvest and planting. So we're using the vacuum planter head, and the vacuum planter head has a hundred tiny holes. And so when you pour the seed on the planter head, you get a hundred seeds that are evenly spaced. All right, so he puts that in the plug in the tray and then releases the vacuum and the seed drops into the into those trays. Right, so this is our cold chamber where we put the, the seeds that are first planted when they're fresh from the harvest. And, and this is a 10 degree C, and we put it in here to help break the dormancy. These are samples that are planted in the optimum temperature. They have, they're planted in, the, uh, in those trays that have uh, the, the paper that provides surface um, contact so that they can absorb moisture. And, and that gives, and, and as long as they're not too wet, then they uh, there's also plenty of oxygen inside there. And that gives these an opportunity to germinate. And so we leave them in here, uh, and depending on the species, um, from seven days to several months. And uh, so the analyst is, is looking for any seeds that, are, that have abnormal seedlings or that have not sprouted yet. I'm transferring the non-germinated seedlings to give them onto new substrates to give them another chance at growing next week and the abnormals you know so this just lets them go another week to see if they will produce normal right and when she's pulling those seeds that seedlings down that's the root she's yeah. just grabbing them because they are normal mm -hmm. and just getting them out of the way right and it makes it easier to identify the ones that are not to identify normal seedlings you have to look at the shoot mm -hmm. and the root and what rules are you following for this test? AUSA. If someone is buying seed, they they want to know, you know, they want to know um, that it doesn't have uh, weed seeds that are going to cause them problems in their field. They want to know that it's going to grow, and you expect that when you put a label on a seed you read that you know what you're getting